Hey everybody, it's Angela from The Root, and I am so excited because in the building we have a legend, Mr. Stephen A. Smith. He's here to talk to us about his new book, Straight Shooter. Welcome. Welcome. Thank you for having me. Thanks so much for hanging out with us good today. To be here. It's good to be here. How you doing? I guess the best place to start is why now? Why did you think this was a good time to write a book? Uh, I guess it was time. People have been on me for about a decade to write the book. I think as early as. Uh, 2010, 2011, but at that time, um, my mother, we had just learned uh, that she had um, acquired cancer. And so because of that, she had made me promise that under no circumstances was I to ever write a book about my life until she was dead and gone. Those were her exact words. Um, she knew that I would be very honest and very forthcoming about what she meant to me and why, um, and because of that, I would have to talk about my relationship with my father. So you don't mince words in this book when it comes to your relationship with your father and how he essentially wasn't really there for you, your siblings, and your mother, but it almost seems like that relationship is kind of what fueled your drive and, and led you to become the success you are today. Do you think that that is really what help drive you? Well, definitely it played a role. And even as I sit here today with my father having passed away in 2018, about 14 months after my mother passed away, God rest both their souls. Uh, the reality of the situation is regardless of what I feel about what my father did, how he conducted himself, et cetera, et cetera, uh, when I eulogized him at his funeral and I still loved him. And so for me, <clears throat> you know, to think about the kind of impact that he had on my life. It was certainly motivational, but in a multitude of ways. Number one, prove him wrong. Number two, um, succeed. Number three, make my mother proud. And number four, make sure that there was somebody uh, coming out of my family that warranted being seen as the man of the house or the patriarch of the family per se. Um, there are certain things about my life the way that I am, uh, even though I've been single all of these years, I'm a stickler. Um, I pay bills, not my woman. Um, I take care of the house and home, not my woman. I'm the patriarch and the leader of the family, not my woman. Um, that's Those are codes that I live by. Uh, when it comes to my daughters, if they're hungry, it's because I'm starving. They eat first. Um, they're taken care of before I'm taken care of. My comfort is not established unless their comfort is established. I'm a certain particular way when it comes to women, girls, women, etc., because of what I witnessed my mother endure. And so for me, it's no badge of honor to have any woman in my life, in any capacity, friend, family, girlfriend, wife in the future, whatever the case may be, where you're taking, you're embracing responsibilities that should be my own. I'm just a stickler for that. And it all emanates from what I saw my mother endure. 